Welcome to Mind Stretch. Today, we're diving into one of the most famous thought experiments in physics, Maxwell's Demon. Imagine a tiny being with the power to defy the laws of thermodynamics, sorting molecules to lower entropy and potentially break the rules of physics as we know them. Does this thought experiment reveal a loophole in the laws of thermodynamics? Or does it simply highlight the limits of our understanding? Let's break it down. To understand Maxwell's demon, let's start with a bit of context. In 1867, physicist James Clerk Maxwell proposed a thought experiment involving an imaginary creature, later called Maxwell's demon. This demon stands between two chambers of gas at the same temperature and sorts molecules without expending energy. The demon opens a door for faster-moving molecules to enter one side and slower-moving ones to enter the other, creating a temperature difference between the two sides without using any energy. By separating faster and slower particles, the demon seemingly creates a temperature difference. And here's the paradox. Without using energy, the demon could theoretically power a perpetual motion machine, an idea that violates the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states that in an isolated system, entropy, often thought of as disorder or randomness, always increases. Essentially, energy tends to spread out and equalize rather than stay concentrated. This is why ice melts, hot coffee cools, and why perpetual motion machines are impossible. But Maxwell's demon challenges this notion. By sorting molecules, the demon seems to decrease entropy and concentrate energy, suggesting it could create an energy difference without expending work. If true, this would mean entropy doesn't always increase. And that's where things get interesting. One of the keys to understanding Maxwell's demon lies in the concept of information. For the demon to effectively sort molecules, it must know their speed. In other words, it has to measure each molecule, gathering information on its motion before opening the door. And while the demon may not expend physical energy moving the molecules, there's a hidden cost in gathering and processing that information. This need for measurement ties Maxwell's demon to information theory. The idea that information itself has an energy cost. By measuring each molecule's speed, the demon collects information, which must be stored, processed, and potentially erased. This brings us to Landauer's principle, which states that erasing information requires energy, meaning the demon cannot function without eventually increasing entropy. So how does Landauer's principle factor into the paradox? In the 1960s, physicist Rolf Landauer proposed that when information is erased, it must release a small amount of heat, contributing to entropy. Essentially, even if the demon gathers information without energy, erasing that information would ultimately lead to an increase in entropy. In this way, the energy cost of information processing brings the demon back in line with the laws of thermodynamics. No matter how clever Maxwell's demon is, it cannot avoid the fundamental rule. There's always an energy cost when processing information, meaning entropy eventually increases. Maxwell's demon doesn't necessarily break the second law of thermodynamics, but it does expose the importance of information in physical systems. It shows us that entropy isn't just about the physical state of molecules. It's also tied to the knowledge or lack thereof about that state. This realization opened up new ways of thinking about energy, information, and the fundamental nature of thermodynamics. The paradox highlights how, even in theoretical situations where entropy appears to decrease, information and the costs of processing it maintain the second law's integrity. The exploration of Maxwell's demon had profound impacts on information theory, which now plays a role in technologies we use every day. From computers to data storage, understanding that information processing has energy costs has led to innovations in efficiency and data handling. Every time you save, delete, or move data, there's an energy exchange happening at a microscopic level. In many ways, Maxwell's demon laid the groundwork for understanding how information and thermodynamics intersect, impacting fields from computing to nanotechnology. 
Interestingly, Maxwell's demon has also sparked discussions in quantum mechanics. At the quantum level, particles behave in ways that challenge traditional thermodynamics. Concepts like quantum entanglement and superposition could theoretically allow information to be gathered in ways that bypass classical measurement, leading some scientists to wonder if entropy might behave differently in quantum systems. While we're far from creating a real Maxwell's demon, the paradox has inspired scientists to think about the fundamental limits of information, energy, and entropy in new ways. Maxwell's demon isn't just an interesting theory. It continues to inspire cutting-edge research. Some scientists are now using the idea of information engines, tiny systems that harness information processing to perform work. For instance, researchers in nanotechnology are exploring ways to convert data into usable energy on a microscopic scale, pushing the boundaries of Maxwell's thought experiment into practical realms. Even though Maxwell's demon remains theoretical, it reminds us that the limits of physics are constantly being explored and sometimes expanded. This paradox has sparked real-world innovations, illustrating how abstract ideas can impact practical technologies in unforeseen ways. In the end, Maxwell's demon doesn't break the laws of thermodynamics, but it does reveal fascinating insights about energy, information, and the limits of physical laws. This thought experiment has influenced fields from physics to computer science, showing us that even imaginary beings can lead to real discoveries. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the strange and thought-provoking world of Maxwell's Demon. If you found this paradox intriguing, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment with your thoughts. Can you think of any other ways to challenge thermodynamics? We'll see you next time for more mind-expanding explorations.